Scott, have you ever been dared to do something crazy? Uh, Nothing crazy, man. but I've, I've been dared a few times. Dared a few times. Okay, well, check this out. A performance artist in Australia has been buried in a steel container under a busy road where he will spend 72 hours as part of a so-called Dark Arts Festival Act. Isn't that crazy? So Mike Parr entered this mini shipping container late last night, and then the road was resealed above him. Now they say that oxygen will be pumped into this container, and the 73-year-old artist will also have plenty of water. He'll have his reading and writing material, and he will have a heater and a distress button in case anything goes wrong. But he will have no food. Okay, so the festival curator said that the artist would have limited amounts of liquids that he could consume as well. And he has a bucket to, you know, do his business in. Isn't that crazy? That's just crazy. Well, the burial act is one of the main performances of a festival in Australia and is designed to highlight violence perpetrated by colonialists or colonists, excuse me, against Aboriginal communities, according to the festival's website. So, I mean, I guess it's for a good cause, but this is the, a. The cause is good, but how does that relate to colonialism? I, I don't know. There must be some kind of deeper meaning. Maybe, being, uh, maybe things being covered up, being covered up, swept under the rug, so to speak. So That's a reach. That's, that's the only thing that I could think of. I, I wouldn't take the dare. No. <laughs> I would I would have, no. But you get water and... May have had plumbing and a bit more food. Than, yeah, <laughs> Maybe sure. that. Hey,